What really inspires me is the possibility that my life might actually have a lasting impact, a positive impact on the people of the world and future generations. I'm Robin, I live here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I work as the Outreach Coordinator for the Wilderness Committee Manitoba Chapter. Manitoba is home to the largest section of intact wild boreal forest left on Earth, but much of Manitoba's forests have already been heavily impacted by logging and mining. Robin's organizing was instrumental in a landmark campaign victory that protected nearly one million acres of forests in Manitoba's parklands, and he continues to work vigorously to protect Canada's remaining boreal forests once and for all. We've got the largest forest in the Northern Hemisphere, and this is something to be excited about. It's something that should be a part of our identity. The whole world should know about it. We really like to just reach out to everyday Manitobans. One of the best ways of doing that is just knocking on somebody's door and having a, a casual but, but direct conversation with them. Yeah, I could give you a piece of literature here about our newest campaigns. I want to take this issue that uh, really covers a whole breadth of information. It can get pretty complex when you're looking at an entire province and breaking it down into simple messages that, that people can understand and connect to. Everything that we do is basically providing the accurate information for, for public to make up their own minds, but then the next level is actually either writing a letter or, or calling your MLA or MP about these issues. Robin's outreach efforts generated tens of thousands of letters and helped create a critical mass of support for saving the boreal forests. In November 2008, the government of Manitoba announced a ban on nearly all logging in provincial parks. That's one million acres of uh, provincial park land that was once in danger of being logged that's moved out of that ca category and uh, will be protected from this harmful activity in our parks. Robin was really instrumental in getting park logging banned. He started having meetings with the conservation minister. He was able to sit down and say, this shouldn't be happening and I'm telling my friends and I'm telling everybody I meet that this is happening and we can change that. It's really the Amazon of the North. The boreal forest is actually the largest storehouse of fresh water on the planet. When we're talking about protecting this forest, we're talking about a huge hope for mitigating our climate. That's a really, really inspiring thing to be working on. And that's what, what drives me to work uh, tirelessly to protect it. Down below, we're seeing some, uh, some of the clear cuts around the Springer Lake area. This is just a tiny a little part of the whole uh, resource extraction project that's affected our park so much. Clear-cutting destroys wildlife habitats, denies the soil critical nutrients, and has an overall devastating effect on ecosystems. What we're looking at here is an older cut block. It's been uh, replanted, and uh, so it, it kind of looks like a little green and everything, but what you don't see is um, soil's been really affected. It's a very sterile uh, environment. This earth here has a thick layer of sawdust covering the whole thing. It's, it's uh, not going to be able to support any growth for the next few decades. We're looking at a, a really perfect example of what we're outraged about in this park, a legal logging activity like this slab pile. This is basically just using an area of our park to, uh, as a dumping area for the scrap leftovers of the logging process. It really adds insult to injury when you have this type of illegal stuff going on in a park. We need forests like this for the survival and, and the flourishing of future generations of, uh, of people. It is possible to see widespread change if you just stick to something and sometimes it seems like um, you're not getting anywhere, like the answer is coming back, like we can't change this or, or uh, it's too complicated or you know we don't have enough support, but just keep pushing and great things can happen.